everyone and welcome back to FX Express Trends. My name is JD. Today I'm going to be doing a monthly haul video. Now I don't usually do these videos but because May has been so hectic for me I've decided to make a video out of everything I have collected this month. I just finished up school, I went to a convention, and I've just been buying random things all this month. I thought it would be a cool idea to show you guys what I have. It's not the biggest haul, but it's it's quite interesting. Um, and I, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, it's just going to be me babbling about cool things I got, so um, if you want to see that, welcome. First up, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the clothes I got. Um, there's three main items, and um, as for fashion, it's not the most exciting, but, you know, they're very basic and cute things. So I'm going to start with this cute tee I got. It's this really cute um, Miku Weeaboo t-shirt thing. Um, I got this from Five Below. Um, I didn't get much from Five Below. Um, just this, honestly. It's called Miku, and for some reason Five Below has, like, the cutest little anime section. Um, I couldn't pass Miku up, and, um, I, I feel like a real weeb now. Funny getting this and, like, looking back at, like, my, my Vocaloid phase a, a few years ago. It wasn't too major, but, like, I feel like valid weeaboo trash now that I own this. <laughs> I mean, it's a sexy Miku! <laughs> okay. Next up, um, is another graphic tee. I got this My Chemical Romance, um... Danger Days graphic at Hot Topic. Um, this is a really cool piece. I hardly see anything from Danger Days. It is like my favorite My Chemical Romance album. Um, and it's so cool because it's purple and blue and I really like purple and there are the boys right there looking all cute. I thought it was really nice. It's super comfy. I've been lounging around in this and it's really fun for like, you know, those lazy days when you want to be a potato snack. So the last thing I got for clothes is this Maleficent dress. Now, um, it's quite a weird piece because it has the little, like, you know, Maleficent collar. But I thought it was really cute. It kind of reminds me of, like, you know, those sweetheart necklines. But um, I really like the sleeves here. And, of course, you know, it comes with the little cowl thing. So the top's, like, really nice and structured. But the bottom has, like, that nice puff. And then it also has, like, some tool underneath. So it's, like, you know, extra fluffy and princess-like. It also has a zipper on the side of like the armhole, so I really like that. It's a really comfy piece, and I feel like it'll be very versatile for like when I want to like pair uh, a graphic tee or a longer um, shirt underneath or over it, whatever I choose. And because the top cowl here is wired, I can kind of um, shape it however I want. So. I feel like I'm gonna be wearing it down kind of like a sailor uniform whenever I do wear this, um, because I don't know how I would style it with it up. And also, there's this cute little button here with Maleficent silhouette on it, and it's super cute. So taking a detour away from clothes now to accessories, um, I have this holographic wallet from Bea, um, and it's going like crazy reflective right now because my lighting is directly behind my phone, so um, you can just see all the yummy rainbows. Oh. What I really like about it is that it has um, two pouches. I don't need that much space, so you know, I'll just fill it with like random stuff. Like I have my fidget spinner in there and some stickers or whatnot. There's a lot of space and I don't have to worry about getting like a coin pouch or anything like that. So um, I'm glad that I upgraded. Um, it's harder carrying a much smaller coin purse. So I'm glad I have like a full on wallet and it's super shiny so I, I I love it but what would I do with a new wallet without the proper bag right so I got this cute little bag at Megacon it's a lunch bag because I'm cheap and um, it's a cute little tote you know so obviously I had in mind um, making my own like eat a bag when I was at the convention. I started by finding a bunch of cute charms until I found like the bag So now that I have the bag um, Everything is just coming together so well and it's so spacey So let me show you everything on it that I got from the convention and you can just ignore this because obviously, you know every girl needs protection and Sanitary measures. I guess I'm gonna start with the bag itself. It's pretty basic uh, My Hero Academia um, lunch bag box thing it's a bag. It's a little tote. 
but um, it's got all my on it. And on the back, it has the um, the little logo. Thought I was done with superhero stuff, you know, after um, I believe the end of Marvel's Phase Four. I thought it was like End Game and stuff like that. I guess not. Um, but the thing is, con connecting with my hero was kind of a pain. The point that I got into it, I was so sick of superhero stuff. I just finished the third season, so I kind of get the hype surrounding the series now, but at the same time, like, I don't care too much. But, like, low-key, All Might is, like, my favorite pro hero. Um, I love a good Vara. He's just, he's just so funny. As for, like, the accessories and stuff, I got this little, um, button of Froppy. Um, I think she's the cutest. However, the button is super cheap. I had to I had to mend it with my my own pliers because it has like one of those safety pins on the back. Um, it's super cute and it has like those holographic flexes here and there. But at the same time, you know, I had to worry about functionality of it. I don't want it falling off. Um, so I'm glad that when it did fall off, I was able to find it. Um, so I mean. It's cute, but the button was kind of a pain. Froppy is like one of my favorite students, so you know I had to get her. I think she's really cute. So next up are these keychains. I'm gonna start with this one. Um, I don't avidly play Genshin, but when I do, um, I normally play as Ning Guang. She is one of my favorites. One of those acrylic keychains, and it has a cute little star. Um, yeah. And she's holding like one of her dishes. She's really cute. She is waifu. Um, I keep thing is though is that whenever I try to pull for new characters, it's like I always get her. So I've gotten her from banners maybe like four times. Um, <laughs> it's really frustrating because you save all your primo gems and then you get the same character. Like I love her, and you know, she is kind of leveling up through those like extra pulls of her. But at the same time, like I want, I want you know, I want Chi Chi and Hu Tao, but no, no, it's so sad. Lastly, from the convention and um, of the keychains, I got this um, Malice Draconia Twisted Wonderland keychain. I love Disney, I love Yana Tobiso, so um, I'm very happy that I found someone who's actually selling Twisted Wonderland stuff because it is more of a newer game. I love how it's a mobile game. Um, it has gotcha elements mixed with a lot of other things. So there's like some parts that feel like a rhythm game and other parts that feel like, you know, like a uh, character simulator. Um, it's quite weird, but I think that these elements go together so well. From what I can tell, the story is and characters are just so dear. But um, yeah, there's just so much to the game I've yet to explore and I really like it and Malice just happens to be one of my favorites. So that is the bag, um, and I really like it. It's really cute. It's super spacious. But wait, there's more. You want to see how spacious it is? Look how much it holds. Wow, oh my gosh. Obviously, um, the inside is a lunch, is, you know, that of a lunch bag. Um, it's really big though, like it fits my wallet and everything, and, um, I can carry a lot of stuff. Obviously, I crammed a bunch of books in there, so that's what I'm gonna go over next. So now that it is summer, I can do a lot of my own personal reading. So um, these are just some of the things that I got this month. So here we go. So I'm gonna start with this manga. This is the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess 1. Um, this is volume 7. I'm currently missing 8 and 10. The manga is still publishing, but um, I feel like 10 and 11 are still waiting on like um translations and stuff like that so um for now you know i'm just filling in what i don't have I like this manga series because you know not only do i love zelda stuff um but i really like how they gave you know link a personality they gave him a voice they gave him a backstory um so i've been really enjoying this manga but anyways um the pacing is really good i love the story so far there are some parts that i feel like are lacking like in some of the um fights again the manga is still ongoing so um hopefully you know little nuances like that will be filled in with time next up we have a new series that i've been getting into so i think it was last year that i started watching the promised neverland um 
and I only stopped at the first season because I hear the second season sucks. So I picked up the manga and I uh, I got the first three. I'm almost done with the third one and I got this very, very recently. So hopefully I can get more soon um, because I've just really been enjoying the story so far. I like the sense of reliving the series again because there's a lot of unanswered questions from season one and I didn't finish season two so hopefully like, you know, I can get a good idea of, like, you know, what's to come um, and the parts that were animated. At the same time, I can also kind of make my own theories about, like, what's going to happen, um, you know, who might be of help to the escape plan, what the outside world is like. For those who are actually, like, into it, you know, like, if you know, you know, but, like, at this point, I don't, so please don't spoil it for me. I get to learn more through the manga. There's obviously like those little hints throughout the pages, so hopefully I'll be able to like point out those little hints and things like that, but um, as for now, you know, I have these to go back to. And the best part is that it is a finished series, so once I get my, hand, my hands on all 20 volumes, I will be complete on the inside. So the last book I got is the novelization of Cruella. She is one of my favorite Disney villain. She's always been since I've seen the live action um, with Glenn Close. So to see um, this version of it, I was very pleased. I I love that movie so much. I've rewatched it so many times already. You don't even know. I get to have it now as a book and a novel. So I will have it forever. When I was younger, I remember wanting to watch like, you know, all the old animated Disney stuff so like whenever I had the chance or wherever I could find those more older movies I would watch those I would watch them and then as for like the more like live action ones you know to kind of follow up with the series that I've been keeping up with I would go and watch those so for me it was like you know the 101 Dalmatians movie and then the two or three with Glenn Close I believe I don't know how many she had I think it was two Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was those two. The character of Cruella is quite is quite funny because, you know, I love doggos and for for someone to skin the doggo for fashion, it, it kind of spoke to me, you know? Because um, I love fashion and I love doggos and incorporating the two seems super fun, but at the same time, it was not ethical, <laughs> so it was always intriguing, you know? So now, like, to see a more updated, more modern version of Cruella, it was really fun to watch and it resonated with me in a weird way of the live action disney movies um today i would say cruella is one of the more better ones so there's only a few more things that i would like to show from this haul so we have these little nail polish skull things the brand blackheart i have had experience with these polishes before this time i got a sparkly pink skull and was on sale it was like three dollars and I also got a yellow skull. I really like using um, the Blackheart nail polishes. I have had a few in the past. I remember one year, one of my friends gave me these nail polishes. There was a holographic one and an iridescent sparkly one. So I like the way that they performed and they were so good. They were so cute and they're like little novelty nail polish things so you can display them. You know, it's really cute. They really thought about like, you know, the packaging and the color payoff actually works so i'm very happy about that i'm glad that i got these when i did i've had my eye on this pink one for quite a while now so um, i'm glad i have it and lastly i have something very nostalgic to me so we have these little splat ball pigs i really like these um because nostalgia they're cute and squishy and their little legs just kind of go all over the place they're kind of sticky and um just look at their little faces aren't they adorable they're just so sweet and they're kind of dirty because you know like once you get them out of the out of the bag um you know they're sticky they're gonna stick to everything when i was younger i found um these like expensive splat balls at one of those mall kiosks but i was able to find these at walmart for only like maybe five dollars or so um and i've had a few of these in my lifetime um i sound old <laughs> i've had a few of these before but i've i've always loved the pig it, they're so fun to play with, but it's always so sad when they break, whenever you squish them too hard or they fall on the floor, something, it's always something, you know, like something unintentional and then it just happens. Um, but I have them now, so 
yay. <laughs> but anyways, that is all for my haul. I know it's a little bit all over the place, but um, I just wanted to share what I got because I thought it would be fun and I could kind of gush over the different things I like. Anyways, yeah, that, that that's it. That's it. This, this was such a mess, but I got to like gush over everything. So like, I, I feel good now. I get to share that with y'all. <laughs> But anyways, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you got this far, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Anyways, till then. Bye, guys.